So one of the key capabilities is actually uh, how to integrate the kind of information that we have. More importantly is how organizations and the individuals can find the sweet spot. Yes, it's highly dependent on the leadership, but I also say no because it also is highly dependent on the followership. And personally, I don't think I want to hire the best fit candidate. I want to hire the adjacent fit. Well, I think the pandemic uh, has changed the way we view the future of the workplace. Previously, it's everybody is working in the office, but now it's all about remote. But I think going forward, it is the challenge is uh, about how do we balance between people working at home or wherever and those in the office uh, and uh, safely to bring people back to this new tour place as well as what are the new uh, capabilities uh, in the future uh, that has changed because of the pandemic. Examples include uh, the reason uh, why suddenly now we uh, must work from home is because you cannot come to office and interact because of the, the uh, COVID-19. So one of the key capabilities is actually uh, how to integrate the kind of information that we have, uh, which is a lot, and how do we then uh, synthesize and how do we uh, bring and curate all this information together and prioritize, uh, which previously you, had, you can come back to the office and you can actually interact with people. Now you don't. So that is one uh, capability that uh, people have to inculcate and to learn uh, going forward. And that's just one example. Um, talent pool is uh, obviously important. I would say talent is important. The main differentiation is about talent right now. Um, processes can be quite the same for industries. For Brijaya, for example, we have really quite a number of businesses. Uh, we are a conglomerate, therefore we are in multiple businesses and multiple industries. Um, our competitors probably have the same processes as us, probably the same kind of products as us, but what differentiates between one company, one organisation and the other one, and what differentiates between those who are successful and those which are not as successful would be its talent. Um, and this is not just, when I say talent, I don't mean superstars, I mean anyone is a talent. My personal belief is there is no such thing as talent pool. I believe everyone has talent. It is up to the organization as well as individuals to find uh, what passion people uh, have uh, and how do we take advantage and leverage on those strengths uh, so that everybody is successful. So is it important? Absolutely. But more importantly is how organization and the individuals can find the sweet spot to get the best and optimize the best out of uh, the potential of each individual. I think that is key. Well, if I say no, then it would be an extremely unpopular uh, way to say it because leadership is important. Um, so I would say yes, it's highly dependent on the leadership, but I also say no because it also is highly dependent on the followership. Um, if you find, if you Google or Wiki between leadership and followership, you probably hit millions of hits uh, when you search for the word leadership. But you put followership, not so many. Reason is people learn how to be leaders, but you never teach people how to be a good follower. How can you be a leader when you don't have any followers, right? And to follow uh, well, to align, is also a talent. So I think um, the success of organization is not just about the leadership alone. It's also about the balance between the leadership and also the people. Um, for example, if I'm a leader, I'm also a follower, right? Uh, you can't just say that I is depending on me as a leader, but I need to follow a leader because every single station that you're in, you always have somebody to follow and alignment is important. Um, the way you understand the objective and how you understand the purpose and the meaning of why you are doing something is also key. Uh, so your, there is no easy answer to your question. I think it is both. Uh, but if you really have to push me uh, to answer, it's highly dependent on leadership. No, I think it is a balance between leadership 
and alignment, in other words, followership. I think there is no such thing as best fit candidate. And personally, I don't think I want to hire the best fit candidate. I want to hire the adjacent fit. Adjacent fit means it is, this is best fit, it's best fit, it's put here, right? Adjacent fit is the one beside. Why I think adjacent fit is better? Because if you hire the best fit, it will fit to the culture. Then there will be no transformation. Because this person, whoever that we bring in, would conform. But if you are do, looking at transforming, uh, for example, what is happening in Bajaya right now is there is a massive transformation. If you uh, put in or hire somebody who is very, very fitting to our culture, then you would imagine there will be no change, there will be no transformation. But you cannot find somebody who is so far away because it would be totally uh, a counterproductive, right? And counterintuitive because it's so far. So you need to find someone that is just beside that hole or that particular space so that this person can bring some change. Um, so best fit candidate, although it is something that we talk about often, but I personally think that adjacent fit is more important. And for, for us to hire adjacent fit, we need to take a chance. We need to gamble because this adjacent fit may not be able to succeed because you know, of culture, because of processes, systems, mindset, thinking, paradigm. Uh, but that is the responsibility then of the ecosystem of the organization to ensure any adjacent fit talent would be successful and be given the latitude and the freedom for them to try something new, something different so that we are able to bring the organization to the next level.